Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm going to do what the administration told me to do. Please raise your hand, live long and prosper. Everybody, I'm going to review the rules. The back, get up, wake up. They told me to do it every day. Class rules, rule one, please be in your seat with your pencil and your notebook and your book. Bring it from home. Two, be respectful. You are all respectful. I don't have uh, nothing to say about it. Three, we're here to learn. You are yourselves. There's a little cell you see. Put the cell in the backpack, please. Put it in the backpack. I don't mind. Put it in the backpack. There's no physical uh, reason not to put it in the backpack, and it's still doing what it does. What it does. Four time is volleyball. We should do it fast. Five, I'm here to help you. You don't send me an email. I don't know if you have any problem. You tell me, maybe I know. But I'm not God. I'm not. How do you say that word? Um, omnisciente. How do you say that in English? Omniscient, maybe. I don't know. I can know that you don't understand anything if you don't tell me. If you tell me I don't understand this, I can do it and explain it again. And six, clean up after yourself and the tool climb. Okay. For you, it's fine. Your notebooks. I don't have to compare. They tell me not to compare. But in Spain, I don't have to tell people how to take notes. So all you have to do is copy what is there. Okay? You need six acids and bases, typical reactions. Do you copy the... That's the title of the second set of slides, okay? We saw one with one example, what was an acid, what was a base, and now typical reactions with acids and bases, okay? And next day we'll do the funny thing about this unit. Copy? Can I go on? Can I go on? You don't have to copy this, you just copy this. Typical reactions. Can I go? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can go. Okay. How does hydrogen chloride, this is, this is an acid, reacts with water? Okay. Acids gives H plus to the water. So you get uh, the ion chloride in the water and then H3O plus. These are hydrogenions, and those are the things that cause the hurt when an acid falls into your skin. Okay? Because the water goes out. The H plus reacts with the water, you get hydrogenions, and that's the thing. Okay? There are strong acids and weak acids. A weak acid would be lemon. Push a lemon, you get an acid that is not so so strong, it's weak. Um, how do you say vinegar? It's an acid, okay? But if you take a, a strong acid like uh, hydrogen chloride in your skin, you just don't want to do it, okay? Or sulfuric acid or something like that. You just don't mess with those, those kind of things. Okay, did you copy? Mm -hmm. For the ones who don't know, these are on the left the reactants and the products. Okay, you get this, then they react. This means they react, this little arrow, and you come with this. Next one, another. This is. What's the first 
please. I go on. You only have to write typical reactions. Next one. You can split that reaction that hydrogen chloride dissociates into H plus and the ion chloride and then the H plus reacts with water to form hydrogenions that are the ones that hurt. Okay, uh, have you seen Alien? The movie? Alien, yeah. The movie with the monster in the space, no one can hear you scream. So this, uh, how do you call them? Alien xenomorph, his blood is an acid. So when it takes you, it... Mm. So, there may be a form of life based on, not on blood, blood is water, with many things in there, it's a, in, with a blood, acid blood, uh, really, uh, water is an acid, maybe you don't believe it, but it is. Can I go on? Another example, perchloric acid is the same. The H goes out of here and reacts with water and it comes to it hydrogen ions and then you get this ion. That would be perchloride. Okay? It's easy. The only thing you gotta do is to take the H plus out of the first thing, the acid, and put what it takes here. Okay? There's always a minus here because it always loses the H plus, so it is negative. Okay? It's easy. And here you write always the water and then the hydrogen is here. I'm gonna give you a worksheet where you're gonna do it. You see, it's so easy. And next day we'll do a little more difficult thing and funnier. Can I go on? Why not? Can I go on? Can I go on? Say yes. Yes. Another one. I don't have to say anything about this. It's the same as the other one. The H plus goes out, goes to the water. You take H3O plus and then you get the ion. Ionite. No, ion. Can I go on? No.
caneca on oi i go and this is the tricky one because it has two hydrogens so when it loses one to the water get the h3o plus then you lose just one you put just one hydrogen you lose one that goes here and the other one stays here and you get a negative charge because because it has lost a positive charge so it's negative okay So the thing is, you take one hydrogen from here, goes here, you form this, and then you have to take out one hydrogen from here, I put a negative here, every time you take an H from here, okay? So if you got this reacting with water, you get... hydrogenions and you take the hydrogen from there and put another negative charge changes here changes here sulfuric acid is so uh, dangerous because it loses two hydrogens not just one it hurts you and then it hurts you again. Takes the skin out of you. And now the easy one. Can I go on? Hydroxides. Hydroxides are more much much more easier because they just dissociate in their components you got the non-metal here sodium and the OH so dissociate into the ion sodium and OH negative okay this is the hydroxide ion okay so it's easy sodium hydroxide you don't have to think too much bases this is a base are the opposite of acids okay we'll see next class how they react to form water This is the last one. When you got two hydroxides, you put a two here. Okay? It's easy. Don't have to think too much. Calcium has a charge of two positive. So that's why you have a two here, and when it dissociates, you got a two here. Because you got two hydroxides here. Got it.